Hello and welcome to stage two of our exam overview session and this time we'll be looking at listening. We're going to go through an overview of the listening stage, a breakdown of the tasks which are in this stage, a description of each of those tasks, how you will be assessed and finally we will watch an example of the listening in play. Let's get started. So stage two has two tasks. Task three and task four will be listening to the same audio. First in task three, you'll listen to it for the first time and report back generally what you heard. In the second listening, task four, you'll be asked to report specific details. As you can see, the total time for this stage is 10 minutes. The first task being quite a lot shorter because you won't really be asked to speak that much. Just one sentence summarizing the listening. Okay, so to begin this stage, the assessor will share their screen and audio with you so that you can hear the listening. This is all done through Zoom. Stage two of the HLA is an assessment of the candidate's listening ability. A short talk will be played twice, and there are two tasks, the second of which is an integrated skills task. Let's look at them in more detail. Having shared their screen, the assessor explains the topic and asks the candidate to listen for the first time. They're then asked to report back what the talk is generally about. In task four, you'll be asked to listen to the talk again and isolate the specific points raised both positive and negative and then explain them back in your own words to the assessor. When listening this second time, it's recommended that you take notes. Really, it's very important that you take notes. There'll be a lot of points for and a lot of points against, and you'll be asked to report them back at the end of the task. You will have 30 seconds planning time to think about how it's best for you to say these points. Remember, you should have a pen and paper with you so that you're able to take notes comfortably. So, for stage two in the listening, you'll hear a talk that presents two sides of an argument. You'll listen to it twice. The first time, you'll listen for the general idea and you'll report it back to the assessor. The second time you listen, you'll be asked to report specific information, describing the arguments for and the arguments against. That may be specific arguments or evidence that they give. Task four holds the most weight in stage two. This is where the assessor asks the candidate a specific information question. They'll then be asked to explain the two sides of the argument presented in the talk. Remember that you'll be encouraged to take notes. You'll then detail the two sides according to what you heard, and you'll speak for about one to two minutes. Let's look now how you're assessed in the listening. As with all parts of the HLA, we're really assessing from B2, which is upper intermediate, to C1, which is an advanced level. In order to break this down in more detail, we've given you specific simple phrases that will help you understand what you need to do to get a better grade in the HLA. In the listening stage, we'll be assessing the ability to follow extended speech and complex lines of argument. We're asking you to comprehend general meaning. However, at B2, we're looking for you to show that you can understand different dialects, different sounds of voices, 
and more academic speech. We're also looking for you to identify viewpoints and attitudes as well as information content. So here, to get a B2+, you'll be looking to describe all of the specific opinions. At the more advanced level, we see students or candidates that are able to understand extended speech on abstract, complex topics beyond their own personal interest. These level of students occasionally need to check that they understood specific points, but they're able to recognize a very wide range of idiomatic expressions, colloquialisms, and they're able to appreciate when the formality or the way the person is speaking changes and how that changes the meaning. So, we'll be assessing, can the candidates understand the general meaning of what the talk is about? Can they hear one or two points for and against? At B2+, Plus, we're looking more at how well they understand the opinion, the argument, the view that the speaker is giving. And really at advanced, we're expecting for almost all of the talk to be comprehended and reported back. We've spoken quite a lot about these two listening stages. Now let's take a look at how they actually work. So we're about to watch an example. This is Daniel again. You'll remember him from the speaking lecture. Now we're not going to listen to the entire tape because you'd be hearing a two, three minute speech twice. Also, we'll likely be using this talk in your preparation course. So instead, you'll hear the end of the talk and then you'll hear the assessor ask Daniel a question. This is task one. These instructions were also given at the beginning of the talk before Daniel listened, so he knew what to listen for. Let's have a watch and see how it goes. You think of the online retail revolution. Okay, can you tell me in one or two sentences what the speaker was talking about? Um, the speaker was talking about the about shopping habits and the shift from the shopping in person to um, online shopping. Absolutely, um, excellent. Now, we're going to hear the audio again. This time, make some notes if you wish, and I'll ask you to tell me some of the reasons the speaker gives for and against online shopping. Are you ready? Yes. Shopping. Shopping hasn't changed for a millennia. From trading animals at markets to visiting our local supermarkets. So there we saw Daniel report back generally what the talk was about. Now the assessor is playing the listening for a second time. So, what do you think of the online retail revolution? Okay. I'm now going to give you 30 seconds to look at your notes and plan what you're going to say to me. I'd like you to tell me what reasons the speaker gives for and against online shopping. You have 30 seconds to prepare and afterwards I'll ask you to speak for about a minute. As Daniel heard it a second time, you'll have heard the assessor say, that he has now 30 seconds to plan how he's going to report this information back to the assessor. This is important because it's quite a lot of information that he needs to describe. And so we want to give our candidates the chance to properly formulate and think about the way that they describe it. Let's see how he does. It. Okay, thank you. Now tell me what reasons the speaker gives for and against online shopping. You have about a minute to two minutes to talk. Um, <clears throat> so the speaker first highlights the benefits of online shopping. Um, he mentions convenience, um, as you can just order your products with a click of a button. Um, he mentions the massive selection um, online, as it is not limited by shelf space. 
um, talks about the efficiency of online shopping. Um, he also notes the lower price range um, of items because of the increased competition online. Um, and lastly, he also talks about the fact that there are, there's more information provided online than in a physical store. Um, then he goes on to talk about the downfalls of on online shopping. Um, the first thing he mentions is that as shoppers, we cannot see or touch the products. So we don't actually know what we are buying to a certain extent. Um, he talks about the delivery, um, the delivery price, um, which can often be, is often expensive. Uh, he also notes that there are time delays to receiving the product. So um, sometimes if we're ordering from abroad, it might take a, a while longer to receive our product. Uh, he also talks about um, the fact that we might have to pay extra for the products that we do not want to keep. And lastly, he talks about um, signing away our privacy rights. Um, and we often receive spam emails as a, as a price for the convenience of online shopping. And there you go. That was Daniel's answer. Now, Daniel's a very high level candidate, so don't worry if you don't feel like you'll be able to do the same as him. But we want to give you an excellent example. So today, we've taken an overview of stage two, listening. We've broken down that stage into the individual tasks and described each individual task, what's expected of you and what you need to do. We also looked at how you'll be assessed and gave you some simple keywords to remember about how you'll be assessed throughout the listening stage. Finally, we watched a few examples without actually having to listen to the entire tape, but you saw the answer and how the assessor and the candidate will exchange information throughout stage two of the HLA listening. Thank you, and now it's time for you to move on to stage three.